all right hello everyone in my previous videos i have shown multiple ways of creating trees in blender however i wanted to make a curve based tree using geometry nodes so that i have more control over the shape and the leaves so this is the final blender file it has all the tree sets and as always i am giving this file for free you can use these trees in any of your projects and you can make variations out of these trees so in this video i am not going to show how to create the geonode setup but i am going to show how to use the setup that i have made so when you download the file you get this setup so this side you can see all the collections and here i have moved the property bar so in the collections you can see these are all the leaf collections there are about 35 plus leaf types and then here these are all the tree collections so this is the default tree collection if you select the tree you can see this has the tree stylized wind geometry node setup this is the main geo node setup and here you get all the settings so first you have trunk settings so let me isolate this one in the trunk settings first is the trunk radius then there is a bottom radius then the material i have given over 15 plus bark stylized materials then this is the resolution of the trunk so if you go to the wireframe view you can see the increase in resolution then this is for changing the u and v of the trunk then these three are the noise scale seed and intensity of the trunk curve then this one is the trunk surface noise now here is an option of making the trunk cross section circle so right now it is a non closed circle if you click on this it is a closed circle now then these are all the branch settings this is the seed so you can change the seed and get different variations then this is the density then this is the branch reduction so with the combination of branch reduction density and seed you can get many variations then this is the branch start so from bottom towards top when the branch starts then branch gravity branch scale and branch radius then again branch resolution and again these are the branch noise speed scale and intensity so these are the noise of the curve of the branch so if i increase the intensity you can see the branches getting the noise and if i decrease the scale then again the uv of the branches now here are the settings of the branch by individuality so what i mean is that these branches are made with a bezier curve so you have the control over the middle and end of the bezier curve this gives you an option of creating interesting shapes so for example if you change the middle y of this branch you can make different type of shapes similarly the end of z and end of y then these are the branchlets so if you can see here i have not put much settings on the branchlets so similarly the density scale and alignment of the branchlets then comes the leaf section so basically i have created a sphere at the end of all these branches and then these leaves are instanced on top of that sphere surface so for that sphere i have called it leaf clump so first of all you have this density 
and here you can select whichever collection you want from all of these leaf collections so for example i can select any other leaf like this and here i have given an option of putting flower on top of this so for example if i select flowers on top and i can control the density and scale of these flowers if you turn it off there are leaves in place of flowers then this is the leaf clump scale so the clump of the overall leaves similarly this is the alignment of the clump towards up then this is the clump height and here i have given an option of clump position so if you want to move it upwards just to show the branchlets even more then this is the individual leaf scale and this is the leaf threshold on top of that sphere then this is the leaf gravity so right now you can see all the leaves are towards the ground so you can invert it or keep it in middle somewhere then leaf mix up it just randomly rotates all the leaves then these are the wind settings so first two determines the direction of the wind so you can give a direction in x or y minus one or plus one so this direction is for the branches and similarly this strength is for the branches these two are for the leaves so the strength of the wind and the speed then here i have given all the root settings so similar as the branches you can change all these settings like this seed the root density where the root starts the radius scale scale seed then these are all the noise settings resolution uvs and here again i have made these roots with bezier curve so you can select all the individual point of the curve and move them so these are all the settings of this geonode setup so i have made all these customized trees with all the available leaves and bark textures so i have divided these in four categories so here you can see tree set a b c and d so basically in this tree set A, you can see all these stylized leaves. So these are all texture based leaves. But here in one of these, like in this one, I have made a custom leaf. You can see that this has leaf solid. So if you go to leaf solid, there are about eight types of leaf solids. If you open this up and go to shader editor, here you can see that it is only a basic color ramp so here you can change any of your color and change these leaves so now let's see the tree set b so these are again a more stylized kind of leaves so if you select this tree you can see this has style leaf C. So here you can see I have four types of style leaves. And these are all alpha based leaves. So you can again select any color for these leaves. So for example, if I select leaf alpha 1. And here you can change the color. Of your choice. Then here you can see four different type of uh, trees. 
so these trees are more low poly trees in this i have made a texture based canopy so if i go to the solid view you can see these are not individual leaves but like a canopy so for most of the leaves and barks i have used ai to create the textures and then i have done some paint over in krita to finalize them so here you can see i am using leonardo ai you can use playground ai or hugging faces ai any of these to create these textures here are some barks so i have taken bits and pieces from all of these and then painted over finally in krita okay now let's see the tree set c so here again there's a mix type of leaves so this one is the color based leaf and this one is the texture based leaves so i have created these uh, smaller kind of uh, garden trees and you can make different variations so all of these trees again have the solid color leaves and finally i have this uh, tree set d so in these trees i have changed the geonode setup a little bit in these ones i have uh, moved the leaves to branchlets so some settings are a little bit different in this like you don't have that clump you directly have the leaves so you can increase or decrease the density the start and all of these settings and again these are all texture based and finally here i have tried something different so this is not a single tree but you can see that this is a combination of multiple trees so it works like making a really big tree so here are all the leaves i have moved it to one side any time you want to create a variation of a leaf just duplicate the collection and in that collection you put the separate new leaf and finally as a bonus i have made this simple grass setup so this is written vraksh vraksh in hindi means tree this also has a wind and you can change the color of this grass so finally in this file you have these five types of geonode setups for the trees these are all the tree setups and one is for the grass i'm not going into detail of this but here is all the complete setup and i have tried uh, organizing it a little bit so i have given these boxes on which node is doing what if you want me to create a detailed video on how to make this please let me know in the comments all right so finally again you can download these freely and use it in any of your projects i'll meet you in the next video thank you so much bye bye